Hey, what's going on YouTube? Cody Orgel here. And in today's video, I'm going to do a sales update video. I'm going to share with you guys some items that I picked up and I ended up selling on eBay. Um, so I decided on a number and it's going to be 59 items that I picked up to sell on eBay. And they all sold within about 10 to 12 days. So let's get into it. So what I've done is taken a screenshot of every item that sold, all the 59 items um, on the eBay site, and I've just got them in my photos on my computer here. And I'm just gonna go through them so it's easily accessed because my computer was having a bit of trouble booting up every single page. And it was just gonna be a pain in the bum to to get them all up and, and running at the same time. So I chose to do it this way. I did get the idea to do a video similar to this from the Golden Figure Pickers YouTube channel. His name's Chad, and he does like 100 items that sold and videos of um, that length. And I was thinking to do something like that, but I thought I might start out with um, a number, and I chose 59. Um, I might do 100 um, in, the, in the future. We'll see how we go about that. But if you're asking why I chose 59, it's such an odd number, and Pardon the pun, it is odd. Um, but I chose it, I just went into a, a random number generator um, on the internet and 59 was the number that was chosen. So I'm just gonna go with 59 and yeah, let's get into it. So the first item is a BG CD. Now I did sell a few CDs, I actually had a few CDs listed. But also before we get into this, this is gonna be quite a lengthy video. So have that in mind. So I saw this BG CD and I had numerous CDs that were laying around the house and I just put them up to list. Um, so it's free free shipping and I sold it for $6.50 and it costs like $3 to ship out an item like a CD. Um, so, you know, it gets a little bit of profit in the pocket considering it's just an item that's just sitting around the house. Next item was a RM Williams pink polo shirt. Um, I sold this for $20. Could have got more, but um, I'm in the process now of just getting some of the stuff out really quickly and getting the money to make room for items that are going to sell um, you know, quicker and I'm going to make more profit on. So I got that out the door, made a profit of course, um, but also I sold this SMS Santani cycling bib um, cycling shorts, $22. Also, I don't really remember how much I paid for most of this stuff, but again, that doesn't really matter. What matters is that I'm selling it, you should have a look at what I'm selling it for, and then you should see if you can find and pick that up um, for a cheaper price at your thrift store or any other place that you go sourcing. So I sold this for 22 and I think I paid around $8 or something for this one. Again, another CD. Um, yeah, I sold that for $6.50 again. You know, it's like a couple of bucks, but you know, it all adds up once you get selling um, a larger quantity of CDs. Um, I also sold this Paul Smith London button front long sleeve shirt for 25 bucks. Um, and I couldn't imagine I paid more than five bucks for this one. And again, you may notice that most of the items that I'm selling are clothing. Um, I'm a pretty heavy clothing seller. Uh, I do sell other stuff as well, as you guys probably know from my videos, but I'm mainly clothing. So you might see a bit of a pattern of clothing stuff appearing here. But steering away from clothing, we've got an Oakley's sunglasses here. They actually sold for $90 and I picked these up from a garage sale for about 10 bucks. And they sold, it came with the hard case, about four lenses, and also the sunnies. You probably can't see them. I can't actually show you the bigger photo, but the sunnies are down there. These are really nice sunglasses. And yeah, I sold these to someone in the USA. Next up, we've got a brand new with tags, Lacoste polo shirt, sold for 45 Maybe I took an offer of 40 I'm not 100% sure. Um, there's something wrong with eBay at the moment. It doesn't actually show you what you got exactly if you took an offer but i got this sold for about 40 bucks and i would have paid around 10. another cd adele um, eight dollars fifty with shipping so i made about five bucks on that cd um, next up is a pair of um well that's trippy having a look at all the logos at the bottom here sorry um, but this is a noosa triathlon or noosa tri 8 um, ASIC shoes, really nice, colourful shoes. Had them up for 60 I think I took an offer of $50. Um, but these shoes are really cool. Next up is um, some Merrell's men's shoes. Um, there was actually a few items that I had just sitting around in my office area here, um, just in the corner, and um, I wasn't actually listed, and they hadn't been listed. And um, they probably were listed a long time ago, but, you know, 
I um, probably forgot about them or whatever. So I decided to chuck them up. And I got these sold for about 20 bucks. So that's 20 bucks that I never had or, you know, whatever it is after fees that I never had. And um, I can use that to reinvest. So I've got those sold. Um, next up, we've got this Ralph Lauren polo shirt, a purple one. Uh, size small custom fit, sold for 20 bucks. Um, this is a really cool flip. This is a Wrangler Pearl Snap shirt. Really like the Pearl Snap stuff. Um, it is really good. It does really well, especially Wrangler. It's a good brand. Size extra large. Um, this sold for about $30. I got this from Savers for about uh, $8 or so. Next up, we have a corduroy Ralph Lauren long sleeve button front. This sold super quick. I got this up and within about a couple of hours it actually sold. And I think I might have took 25. Um, I can't remember exactly. Again with eBay, they need to work out that um, thing with the offers. It doesn't show you exactly. However, I got that sold for 25 bucks. Um, and clothing again. But these next three items are actually uh, quite similar. I picked these up at the same thrift store and I sold them to the same person. So they each sold for $35 a piece. And the brand is Pull and Shark and they're button front shirts. And I was taking a little bit of a gamble on these because the op shop actually had these at a really high price. I had them at, at about, I think two was at $14 and the third one was a $13 shirt. So if you do the math, I'm not sure what that equals to be. But I think that works out to be about 40 or 41. About $41 I spent on these three shirts. And I sold them for $100 altogether to the same person for one shipping cost. So you could say I doubled my money on these, which is okay. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'll take that. And they're really nice colorful shirts too, which is a really good indicator as to why I actually picked them up in the first place. If they were, you know, plain colored or anything like that, I may not have picked them up. Next up, we've got this really cool colored Ralph Lauren uh, checkered. Uh, long sleeve button front shirt. This sold for 35. I got full price for this one. I was happy about that. And again, you pick these up for five to ten dollars from the thrift store. Then the next item was a Calibre. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not sure. I might be wrong there. However, um, this is a merino wool sweater. It says 45. I actually think I took as low as 30 bucks for this. I could have got more if I if I let it sit for a bit longer. Considering I have best offer on all my items. Um, I got an offer for 30 and you know, I didn't want to um, risk, you know, having the counter offer again and not getting it out the door quick enough. So I'm all about the quick flip. So I got that out for 30. So I'll take that. Next item was a Sky Cycling Team Cycling Jersey. Uh, sold this for 30. Another quick flip. The cycling stuff, if you get the really good brands like those, do really well. So I sold that for 30 bucks. Next was another sports clothing item. It's a compression skins top, really tight top. Um, this sold for $22.50 and I paid around $5 from Savers. Again, I'm not 100% sure on how much I paid for this stuff, but just make sure you check um, you know, the prices and see how they're going at the current time. However, the next item was a Ralph Lauren uh, black watch embroidered on the front and like a, a big yellow pony there as you can see That sold for 40. Maybe I took an offer of 35 can't remember but um, I would have paid around eight bucks or so for this one Another sale was a really big Ralph Lauren polo shirt extra 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 large three extra big Had the Ralph Lauren crest not the pony or anything but just like a crest design at the front and it was like a two-toned two um, check patterned um, polo shirt there sold for 35 this was a cool sale this was a PlayStation 1 game the the name was point blank so this is a game that required the PlayStation 1 pistol at the time and this sold for 35 had some really cool artwork and it's really bright cover and stuff like that so um, it kind of popped out to me and for $2, that's a really good turn. Next sale was a Polo Ralph Lauren. This was actually a youth extra large, um, kind of equated to a small in a men's. So I put this up for 40. I think I may have taken around $35 for this one. Now I'm trying to zoom through these fairly quickly, um, but the next item was a Nerf's Vulcan EBF 25 toy machine gun thing. It didn't have the ammunition belt that sits around here somewhere and folds down. 
um, and it did have the tripod and it worked and I sold that for $40. Next item I actually did sell and then I realized I broke the zip on it um, and I had to communicate with the buyer and tell them that you know the item wasn't what they're gonna expect to get so I told them about it and they were happy about that you know because it's a bad idea that if you break something and it's not actually shown on the listing and then you ship it out and then you just blame shipping like handling you know like the someone at the post office broke it that's a really bad way to do business so what I did was make sure I communicated this to the buyer and told them the situation and they were happy to get their refund back and after that I relisted the item I took a couple of dollars off the price and I made sure to list that the zip was broken taking a photo of the pieces of the zip that have broken off and it actually sold a pair of shoes here that sold were some vintage I guess you could say they are fairly old Nike Air Plus TNs they sold for 120 and the buyer actually messaged me and told me that they've been looking for these for quite a long time so maybe these are so I'm guessing these are in really high demand with some collectors and things like that so definitely be on the lookout for these shoes Next was a Burton's Lady Snowboarding Jacket. This sold for $35. And some of these items you may see in my haul videos or ride-along videos. I picked it up for $35. The next one was a pair of ladies Asics shoes. Now these are quite a regular appearance in my sales update videos. So these women's Asics Kayono Series shoes. But they just do really well. Item after item, they just make sales and sales and sales. So they do really, really well. Um, I try and get the 18s, the Kayano 18s, 19s, and the 20s, and even the 21s. And I'm not sure if they have 22s, but if they do, I couldn't imagine they're going to bring in a lot of profit because I sold a pair of 21s for some really nice money, uh, $100 plus. So, you know, just be on the lookout for that. I'm not sure if the lower numbers do any well, but um, I'd just stick with the 18s, the 22s, or 21s. Next sale was a G-Star Raw Correct Line zip-up jumper jacket thing. Um, it had a really cool groovy little collar thing going on. Um, so this sold for $39. And I think I would have paid around $12 or so for this one. Next sale was another pair of those vintage Nikes. Now these ones had really cool patterns like a cheetah print, um, like an African... I think the listing... After doing research, I think it was called African Diamond. I think the diamond refers to that purple tinge at the bottom. So yeah, they're really cool shoes. They sold for $85. And they were a pair of Air Max 95 360s. The next item, guys, was a Levi's uh, jeans. And these were the 501s. Now, I believe these are the best jeans to go for. The 501 number ones are generally the best ones. From what I've found, now I haven't really sold Levi's that often. It's probably like the, the third pair of jeans, Levi jeans, like pants, I've actually sold. I just mainly go for the jump, the jackets, I mean, and they do really well for me. But considering I heard that the 501 series do really well in the pants, so I thought I'd pick them up and give them a try. I paid $8.25 for these, and they sold for 30 bucks. Now here's a pair of the Keanu 17s, and these actually sold for 35 These are a men's. Next sale was a Ralph Lauren Phillip uh, long sleeve button front shirt. This sold for 25 maybe 20 on the offer. I can't remember exactly, but it was a size small. And again, you know, you pick those up for $5 here and there. So if you haven't noticed, these Ralph Lauren button fronts and other button front shirts and polo shirts are kind of like my bread and butter items. And they're the items that I constantly flip and flip on, on the daily, basically. And, and they're the basic structure of my eBay business. Now, the next item may look similar to the other pair that I had. Now, the only problem with these, I can't show you in the photos because I took the screenshot, but on one side, there was a tear, and it was like a good three-centimeter tear right there, like from there all the way to there, and it was fairly significant, and I didn't realize that until I brought it home to take the photos. So, a good tip right now would be when you go to look for shoes and stuff at the thrift store, make sure you thoroughly check each corner of the shoe just make sure that there's no separation, no tearing, or anything like that, because sometimes, you know, there is, and, and you may miss it. So just always be really careful and look closely, and that goes for any item, um, like, you know, a clothing item or anything like that. Just assess its condition and make sure that it's what you're paying the money for. 
I paid five dollars for these and I actually put them up for 35. Made sure to disclose the fault and the flaw that was present on the front side of the shoe there. And I think I took an offer of about 25 bucks. You know, could have sold them for a lot more if they weren't, you know, as bad as they were. I just thought to move them on quick because I may have been stuck with them. All right, so the next sale was a Hugo Boss green labeled pink polo shirt. So this was a size extra large. And the green label stuff for Hugo Boss is really good. So just look out for that. But I sold this for $30 and I picked this up from a Vinnie's and I think you may have seen this in one of my haul videos for about $5 and I picked up two of them. Still got another one up for sale right now. It's an extra, extra large. So we'll see how that goes. But no doubt that I'll sell it again for 30 like this one. But the next sale was this Columbia double jacket. So it was two jackets in one. Underneath this rain jacket uh, textured one was like a, a fleece one underneath that. And I put it up for 65 I think I took an offer of 55 but I must say, this was kind of like my dud item for the week um, because I kind of stuffed myself over with shipping. Someone from a really unique part of the world purchased this item and it was from somewhere that I never heard of before. And um, just just so you know, their name was like literally this long. Like it was this long. And I couldn't fit it on the shipping label. It was that long, I must say. Anyway. I got it sold for 55 but the shipping really killed it and only made like 20 bucks profit off it or something like that. So anyway, the next sale was this Fred Perry polo shirt, sold this for 30 bucks, and again, you know, pay 5 to $10 for these. Next sale was um, an Irma Gildo Zegna, two extra large button front long sleeve shirt, sold this for 30 maybe 25 if I can remember properly. And again, this is one of those items that I said um, I had sitting in the corner and and I didn't have them listed because I totally just forgot about them. So I decided to chuck them up there and, you know, it puts a little bit more money in the pocket. Then I sold this Nintendo Wii console. Just the one game. It was Super Mario Galaxy 2, I think. Yep. Two controllers, nunchucks, all cords. The console and it had the sensor bar. I uh, made sure to test it. worked fine. And I think the game I actually brought a while back. Um, for about a couple of bucks and then the console I actually brought from Savers for like $18. Put it up for 65 and I had a lot of offers like $50 here, um, $55 and all these offers. And I just declined every one because I really thought that it, that it was worth $65 and eventually someone paid the full price for it. So I got it for 65 The next sale was um, these pair of shoes. Now, you may have seen these in one of my other sales update videos, but what actually happened was I put them in because I thought I sold them, but then the buyer didn't pay for them. Um, and again, I've mentioned this before, but I eventually did sell them and I got them out the door um, for 90 bucks. So those sold. The next sale was uh, this Gantt polo shirt, 20 bucks, you know, bread and butter item. Uh, I picked this up for, you know, five bucks or so. Then I sold another Pearl Snap. This is a... A Wrangler, two extra large, sold this for full price of 35 bucks, and again, I would have paid around $8 for this one. The next sale was uh, just a G-Star Raw uh, jacket, and again, I sold this for, you know, 25 bucks. Picked this up for about $7 from uh, a local op shop. Then I sold this uh, Polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve purple polo shirt. And it looks like I got full price for this one, $39.95. Then the next sale was a Guitar Hero Xbox 360 controller. And this was in the original box. So I'll put this up for 40 I got the full price for it. Uh, if you can see down there, it had the, the Metallica, uh, it had the Metallica face on it, um, the face cover for the guitar. Um, and yeah, I sold that for 40 then I sold a pair of G-Star Raw, Riley Loose, uh, kind of like tapered jeans. I sold for 45 And I actually had these up at like $100 because I saw one of the completed listings was at 100 But then I forgot to realize that um, they actually sold for around $45 on the offer. So a good way to check how much something sold for on the offer when it actually says what they had it for instead of the actual offer that it got, if that makes sense. Um, there's a website called watchcount.com. So you just put in the items number, which is down here on the page further down. Um, you copy and paste the item number. 
and it actually shows you how much it sold for. So I'll put that up here somewhere, uh, watchcount.com. The next sale was uh, a pair of Merrill hiking boots. I sell these quite regularly. So these were the waterproof Gore-Tex, if I remember correctly, and they sold for 59. I think I may have taken an offer of 55, and I paid up for these at like 25 bucks from a Salvos. However, they turned some good profit. Then some cycling shorts were some BMC cycling shorts here. They sold for 45, maybe 40 on the offer, and they sold super quick as well. I can't stress enough how quickly the cycling gear sells for. It just sells super duper quick if you get the right brands and stuff. All right, nearing the end of the video, I sold some ASICS Tiger Tokyo uh, high top shoes. These were in one of my ride along videos, if you remember or ever watched. And I sold these for $37.50. Could have got a bit more, but again, I was in it for the quick flip. So I sold those ones. Um, and I can't remember how much I got those for. Might have been $7.50 or something like that. Next sale was a Aaron Williams vest. Um, it says sold for $22.50. I think I took like $18, $16 or $18 for this one. Then I sold this vintage Dreiser Bone oil skinned long riding coat. Now this is super vintage. It was kind of beat up. It was really old. So it was a nice piece. Um, again, I had it up for $79.00. And again, I reckon I paid around $10 for this or something a while back. It's been sitting quite a long time, I must say. And I might have taken an offer of about 70 uh, bucks for this one. Now, this was an item that was just sitting around again. This was a Rhodes and Beckett Slim. Uh, I think I had the French, yeah, had the French cuffs. And um, I sold this one for $19.50. Another sale was a Levi's denim jacket. Now, these are Levi items that I go for. I don't go for the jeans that much. I know there's probably money to be made with them, but the jackets do really well for me. And they are actually becoming rarer and rarer to find. But I did have a really good patch there one week where I found like four or five of these jackets all in the one week. And I hadn't found a Levi's jacket in about six months. And it was ridiculous for me to find like five of them in one week. It was crazy. Anyway, I sold this for about $40 and uh, picked this up for around $12 or something like that. Now, again, this was one of the items that I just had in the corner that I totally forgot about. I put it up for $15, got it sold quick. Then I sold a pair of these uh, women's Kano 20s ASIC shoes for $50, nice purple colored ones. And here's another CD. This was a Taylor Swift CD and I sold that for $450, couple of bucks profit there. And that was just something, you know, laying around the house. And this was actually one of my ride-along videos too. This was a Stussy's, uh, brand new with tags, button front shirt, 25 with free shipping. Shipping's like 715 or something like that. So it works out to be about 16 to $18 uh, profit. Then the last item, I actually just sold this within about the hour. Just sold this about an hour ago. And I think I took an offer of $28 and I sold this to someone in the United States. And they pay for shipping and stuff, of course. So this is a bigger size, uh, three extra large. The brand is David Smith. Now, if I could show you the tag, I can't really do it here with a screenshot. But it's like a colorful tag. Like the name David Smith is written in nice, colorful letters. And I never sold this brand before. I just saw that it had really good resale value. If you get the ones with the really cool, crazy patterns like this one has here. And I paid around $3 for this one from like a real local op shop. So yeah, that's it for the sales update video. Thanks for watching everyone. I really appreciate you guys. If you, you know, waited it out this whole video, I really appreciate that. But I might make a hundred items that sold video in the near future. We'll see how we go. But I thought 59 was a pretty cool number just to start out with. But if you really like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, it gives me a gauge as to whether or not I should make these type of videos in the future. Also leave a comment down below. And if you haven't, Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.